Today's lesson is pronunciation, T sound rules. It's really an important lesson and it's, it's pretty challenging because one of the most complicated parts of English, one of the most difficult parts is that spelling and pronunciation are not the same. That means one word, or excuse me, one letter can make many different sounds. In English, it's not one sound, one letter. One letter can make many different sounds depending on the context, depending on the word and the letters around them. So I want to start with a tongue, a tongue twister. Um, the first T sound is the regular hard T. And if you want to practice with me while I do this, it's this sound. It's probably the easiest. It's the regular T sound. You make this sound by touching the top of your tongue to the top of your mouth. If you do that on your own, you should hear this sound. So why don't you practice it? So that's from your tongue, the tip of your tongue, the top of your mouth, and then you blow air through. If you want me to listen to you do it, just let me know. I can, I can listen to you right now, but I have these sentences here. So here's the first sentence. The best bets are the test nests. So it's a tongue twister. It's supposed to be hard to say. It doesn't really make sense. It's not really a logical sentence, but it's just a way to practice this sound. The best bets are the test nests. So Mohammed, since you're the, you've been to the most classes, Mohammed, do you want to try to practice saying this for the class and I can listen to you? Okay. Uh, the best, the best bets are the are the test nests. Nice, yeah, you made that sound perfectly. You made that hard T. It was great. That was well done. The best bets Thank you. are the test nests. Uh, doesn't make much sense, Gerardo. Gerardo, uh, can you try to say sentence number one for me? And I'm gonna listen to your pronunciation. Yes. Yeah, the best bets are the test nests. Pretty good, pretty good. Test nests. You say. Test nests. Yeah, good, 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 good. I'm going to review the rules for you in just one moment. Um, okay, let's try Sai. Sai, can you try to say this tongue twister sentence for the class, Sai? The best bets are the test nests. I'll unmute your microphone for you, Sai. Number two, number two. This is the D sound. This is a different sound. I know it is the same letter, but it is not the same sound. It is a D sound. Duh, duh, duh. So why don't you practice saying that on your own? Duh, 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 duh. Like a D sound, not T. Duh, duh, duh. All right, number two. A little water in the bottle. A little water in the bottle. If you listen, this is a D sound. Mohammed, you're up first, Mohammed. Let's hear you try to say it. Okay. A, li a little water in the bottle. Good, good. And why don't you, here, let me spell it like this, okay? Why don't you imagine saying it like this? No, no. A little water in the bottle. A little water in the bottle. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, Gerardo, Gerardo, why don't you give it a shot, Gerardo? Okay. 
a uh, little water in the bottom. Good. Very, very good. I liked how you did that. And Louisen, can you try one? Can you try sentence number two right here? Can you try this for us, please? Louisen. Okay. A little water in the bottle. Nice. Excellent. I didn't hear the normal mistake. The mistake I hear is when people say little water in the bottle. Uh, we it just it is not pronounced like that i know that there are t's in the word but what you must remember is that spelling does not always mean the same pronunciation right i will explain the rules in a second so very good a little water in the bottle so remember silent t I know that the words have a T in them, but after N, they are silent most of the time. So international internet. Okay, Mohammed, go for it. International internet. Ah, very good. Try to say it like this. International internet. I know it looks funny, but try to say it like there's no T. Okay, okay. Uh, international internet. Perfect. Nice, very good, Mohammed. very good. But for today, we'll just practice three of them. So let's go back to the material here and let's practice it, right? So we have the words in the box and we're gonna take the words from the box here and we're gonna write them in the correct place according to the sound that each one makes. So this is pretty cool, right? We have T equals T, T equals D, or T is silent. So Mohammed, Mohammed, I'm gonna call on you first. This first word here, I want you to say the word please and then tell me where I should put this word. That's the first uh, T uh, as T. Correct, absolutely correct, best. It makes a strong T sound, Y, S, T. These two letters together, st, best. Good, very good. Okay, Louisa, or we'll go to Gerardo. We'll keep the order that we had. Uh, Gerardo. Second word right here. Can you say the word and then tell me where it goes? Um, it's, it's the same. Bets. Bets. Yeah, exactly. Bets. Bets. It's the same sound, the hard T sound. Excellent, Gerardo. Uh, Louisen, this is the next word, Louisen. And why don't you tell me where I put it? Okay, I think it's TST, water. Yeah, T, oh, where, where? Water. Yeah, and where should I write it? And TST. Here? Yes. Oh, water. Oh, oh sorry, TSD, TSD. Yeah, very good. Yeah, water. Yeah, very good, Louise, and thank you. Okay, Sai. Sai, you're up. Here's your next word right here. Yeah, TSD, Lida. Yeah, excellent. TSD, little. TSD, little. Awesome, Tanu. Tanu, you're up, Tanu. So let's unmute your microphone. <laughs> I think you're on mute. Okay. okay, we're good. Here is your word right here. Uh, 20. Uh, T song. Ah, let me say it for you. 20. 20. 20. Okay, okay, T silent. Yeah, very, very, very okay. good. Yeah. Why? because when T is after N, it's usually silent. And Americans, British, Australian people, we don't say 20, we say 20, 20. Okay. Good job, okay, Tani. 20. Yeah, very good. Let's keep going. Um, I believe we have come back to Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad. so here's your word right here. One. 
سوري وردر wanted wanted where should i how, let me say the word for you wanted 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 yeah the yeah. yes. after n wanted uh, yeah actually it's going to go believe it or not it's going to go here with the silent t so why is it a silent t here's rule number 3 When T comes after N, it's usually silent. Wanted, wanted. Yeah. We don't really say wanted like with a hard t t t t tid. It's 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 really you just go fast past it. Wanted. Good, wanted. Good job, Mohammed. We're back to Gerardo. Gerardo, here is your word. And why don't you? Okay. Ener? I don't know. Ener. Ener? Ener. Ener. Where should I write it? One, two, or three? Uh, T is silent. Silent. Yeah, it is. Why is the T silent here in the pronunciation? Because it's after N. Rule three. T after N, the T is usually silent. So, enter. Really, if you listen closely, I'm not saying enter. I'm not saying enter. I'm saying enter. Enter. It's fast. That's just the pronunciation. Okay, I think it's time for Sai. Sai, it's your turn here. Here's your word, Sai. Mm, ability. One, let me listen closely. Ability. 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 Where should I write it? First column. Ah, this one is tricky. I should write it here. I'm actually not saying ability. I'm saying ability, the the d ability, and let's uh, remember. I'm... Let's re good job, Sai. Let's remember the rule here. If T mm. is between two vowel sounds, it makes a d sound. So we have two vowel sounds, e at the end, and the i before it. Ability, very yeah, yeah. good, very good, Sai. <laughs> Sara, are you there, Sara? Yes, I'm here. Hey, yes. Sara. Can, um, here's your word. It's in blue. Can you say this word and tell me where I should write it? I know you just joined the class, but try your best. Yes, it's going to be in the first one. Yeah, and can you say the word for me, please? Table. Exactly. That's a hard T. T at the beginning of the word is a hard T. Table. Excellent yes. job, Sara. Louisen. Okay, Louisen. We have three words left, and here is your word. Okay, I think is an TST printer. Ah, uh, what's before the T? Oh, and T uh, silent. Yeah, printer. good, Louisen. Yeah, you, you're doing a good job. So believe it or not, I don't say printer. Like I'm not re-emphasizing that sound. It's like printer, right? It's not printer. It's one syllable, printer. So that's really just what it sounds like. I know that's kind of crazy. Okay, uh, Tanu, Tanu, let's unmute your microphone. <laughs> uh, and Tanu, okay. here's your word in blue. Can you t say the word and where do I put it? Twelve. T sound. Twelve. Good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Excellent job, Tanu. When T is at the beginning of the word, it makes that hard T sound. And now I think the last person is Gerardo. Okay, Gerardo. I'm gonna give you the tricky one. I'm gonna give you the tricky one. It's a kind of like a phrasal verb, a uh, little phrase here with an object. Can you say this? Yeah. Um... It's put it on. 
Put it on, and where should I write it? A D E Z. Yeah, very good. Why? Because even though the words are separated, it still comes between two vowel sounds. Put it on, put it on. That's just what the pronunciation sounds like. That was maybe like a group, a group chat maybe, or I'll ask you. Um, a, in your opinion, was life better or worse before the internet was invented? invented was life better or worse before the internet was invented so okay Mohammed um, in your opinion and please try to answer with a complete sentence in your opinion was life better or worse before the internet was invented um, in my opinion uh, the life is better uh, before the end uh, before the internet was uh, invented. Nice, good, Mohammed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing is, we don't say the life. I know in Arabic, uh, you like, um, yeah, I know you say in Arabic, you put it the the article all all before a noun, but in English, you don't need to when you're just talking about something in general. So we just say life, not the life, just life. Okay, but okay. good. Very good, very good. Okay, let's go to uh, Gerardo. Let's, let's try to all answer this question as our production. Gerardo, in your opinion, was life better or worse before the internet was invented? In my opinion, it is the, the best invented. Let's, 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 let's make a sentence like this here. In my opinion, my opinion, it's the best. Life was. Life was. Um, what do you think? Better or worse? Better. Okay, good. In my opinion, life was better before the inner. Oh, excuse me. Before the internet was invented. Can you say that sentence? Yeah, in my opinion, life was better before the internet was invented. Wow, good. Uh, okay, let's go to Sara. Sara, Sara, in your opinion, was life better or worse before the internet was invented? In my opinion, life was better um, before the internet was invented. Why? Uh, because we can uh, we can be able to communicate with other people around the world. We can in a fast way. For me, ah. that, mm -hmm, that's okay. Better. Yeah, good. One thing is uh, is not we we can be able to or like we we were able to or we are able to. So don't forget, it's just the verb to be plus able to. Okay. Good, though. Good. Let's go to Sai. Okay, Sai. In your opinion, was life better or worse before the internet was invented? Uh, in my opinion, uh, life was uh, better. Better. Keep going. Finish the sentence. Better. Uh, because... Uh, um, Nowadays, people uh, didn't speak with them, each, each other. Talk about this, like two minutes. Um, I have a new service. It's not free, but this is something that you might be interested in. I'm still going to do the free classes two times per week, so don't worry. But I'm debuting something new called Legos. Legos is language evaluation and goal orientation session. So this is a way to build your future. What it is, is basically, it's a consultation and advising session to help English students reach their personal goals. First thing, your language ability is evaluated by taking my level test. I have created a special test. Uh, it's 80 questions, grammar, vocabulary, it's writing, and it's a speaking interview with me. 
and that's your level test. Second, you receive detailed results and feedback. I go over your results, how many are correct, how many are incorrect, which questions you got right and wrong, and what parts of grammar you should study. So did you get the first conditional? Did you get the gerunds and infinitives right or wrong? Did you get your adjectives right or wrong? So I'm gonna, did you know your phrasal verbs? Do you know your academic words? Do you know your slang words? So that's the results you get. Then I'll tell you your level of English. And then next, you talk to me about what your goals are in learning English. What is your goal? Do you want to have a conversation? Do you want to go to college? Do you need to get an equivalency for your degree, for example, if you want to live in the United States or a different English speaking country? Whatever your goal is in English, uh, you tell me and then I will create a step-by-step -step plan for you. So for example, if you need to get a score of 90 on the TOEFL test to go to a master's degree program in the United States, when I see your test, I will know your level of English, I will tell you how to study, and I can create a plan for you to get you the score you need. So whatever your situation is, I can help you. And my test takes about two hours. It's a two hour test. Then I need about an hour to, to review the results and to talk to you about your goals and to create your step-by-step -step plan to, to achieve your goals in English. So if you wanna do it, um, it's $50. I'm gonna raise the price soon. If you sign up for four hours of private lessons, private conversation lessons or private English lessons with me one-on-one, -on -one, I will do this for free for you. So I'll include it for free if you do private one-on-one -on -one particular lessons with me. Um, but this is just an extra little thing that I'm doing. So if you want to uh, be involved, just let me know and just contact me and we can do the test. It's a really good way to get evaluated. It's a really good way to know what you know. Um, sometimes people say, oh, your level is intermediate, but intermediate doesn't tell you all that much. I can tell you exactly what your strengths and weaknesses are. Oh, you need to know this grammar. You don't know this grammar. You don't know this vocabulary. And so I can give you a really good evaluation of your abilities.